Hi there, it's Donna from Tappy Crafting. I've got this project today. Don't know what sort of card. All these cards have got a name, haven't they? Um, I don't know what this is. I, I'm going to call it a flip flop card because you flip it open, you flip it open, and there's your there's your sentiment. That comes from the A Good Man stamp set. Um, this is from the uh, Come Sail Away suite, so this is the DSP, and I've got a little bit of See a Silhouette DSP on the back here because I couldn't find my uh, Knight of Navy cardstock. Um, so I'm going to show you how I put that together. Um, so I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator, and um, I've been doing videos on YouTube now with paper crafting. Ooh getting on for three years now I think I can quite remember then how long I'd done them for so um, I, I just do lovely simple techniques nothing kind of out of the ordinary just nice and simple um, so if you've just stumbled across me or if you have been watching some of my videos before if you haven't already subscribed come and subscribe to my channel and uh, hit that bell so that you get notified of any new videos um, that I publish um, I try I always publish on a Sunday and then I just try and get one or two in in the week um, depends on how life is going at the time um, so let me show you then what we're doing with this card so I'm using peaceful poppies for this card and let me just get so that's the smaller card so I'm going to put that to one side and then show you what I've got here so I've got a piece of whisper white cardstock and that measures six inches by ten and three quarters and I've scored at I have scored at six inches I'm not sure that's right no it measures ten and three quarter inches and I've scored at five and seven eighths that's what it is all of these measurements are on my blog there's a blog post to this and you can see the link to that in the description bar so a piece of whisper white cardstock that's actually going to be five and seven eighths by ten and three quarters really sorry score at five and seven eighths and then you've got that I'll try not to make any more mistakes now so let's do the inside of the card first and I've got a piece of DSP now you can use whatever you like you can use whatever cardstock color you like whatever DSP you like just kind of put things together decide how you like them before you make your final decision um, so I'm going to put that in there this DSP measures what does it measure? Five and three quarters by five and three quarters. So I hope you are all keeping nice and safe and healthy. These are difficult times, but we have to stay positive. And if we do, whatever country you're, you are watching me from, we just have to do as we're told, as we're told, don't we? And just follow the government advice. Stay in and wait for this to pass. I do hope that you are all happy and healthy. So that's gone on the inside there. So on this piece, you need a piece of this DSP measures five and three quarters by four and three quarters and that is going to sit in there like that I'm just using liquid glue for this which I prefer you probably see some demonstrators when they're doing this using snail which is far quicker um, but I don't always have the confidence to use snail because you've got to get it down first time in the right place and I like to have a little wiggle and make sure that it's in the right place on the card and then also from the same Peaceful Poppies DSP I'm going to stick that on there how, how gorgeous is that um, and I'm going to use some ink I've got Blackberry Bliss ink that I'm going to use to pick out the Blackberry Bliss on this card Peaceful Poppies has probably been the most popular DSP in this new mini catalogue. Mini catalogue still runs until the end of 
when is it the end of? End of June? I don't know if I've got that right. It might be the end of May. It's still available now anyway. All of the links to all of the projects that, um, that are, all of the links to the products I've used are in my blog. And I'm making no apologies for my nails. Nobody can see their nail technician at the moment. And I'm rubbish at doing my own. So that's the front. So I'm going to put that to one side. And then we're going to bring on the smaller card. So this one needs to open that way. Like that. And I'm going to start off by putting... So let me tell you how much this... What this measures. This is... Three and seven eighths by seven and three quarters, and then I've scored right in the middle at three and seven eighths. So remembering that this opens that way, take a piece of DSP that measures three and three quarters by three and three quarters. Get some glue on it. And stick that down. Now I'm going to put a sentiment on the front and I'm going to put a sentiment in the middle. And I've got a piece of Whisper White cardstock for my sentiment on the front and that measures two and a half inches by two and a half inches. The stamp set that I'm using is one of my favourites, uh, Delightful Day. It's quite a simple stamp set but I absolutely adore this. I just think it's, I just think it's lovely. So we're going to use that. So simple stamping here, nothing complicated, no fiddly techniques, nice and simple. So I'm going to put that on my block, get out my Blackberry Bliss ink or whatever ink you want to use. You might use black if you want to, doesn't matter. And let's see if I can get this central without sticking my head in front of the camera. Could be a little bit better, but we'll go with that. And I'm just going to put that to one side for a minute because that thing is probably still a little bit wet. So that bit. So I want to put something in the middle. And I don't think that stamp set's going to work. So I'm going to find another one that I've just got to one side of me here. Have a little rummage, see what we've got. Um, oh, that's not particularly good. Oh, that one will do. So on the uh, in the under my umbrella stamp set, we've got this. It's your day. So let's have a bit of that. Um, where's it gone? Trying to find it. There it is. So I'm going to put that in the middle of that. And then we can start the construction. I've got ink all over my ink block. I'm just trying to clean that off camera. I've got no wipes in here to clean that off. My fingers are now covered in ink. They're covered in paint because I've painted my dining room this weekend and now they're covered in ink. Let's see if I can do this without splodging it. Oh, got that in the centre. Look at that. So, and if you wanted to do a little bit more stamping on there, you could do um, on any stamp sets. That are, I mean, like this one, you've got little flourishes and things. So you could put those on there if you want to. Up to you. I just want to show you the main construction of this card. So let's get that back. And I want to put that on the front of my card. You could, if you wanted to, round off the corners. You don't have to. I'm going to put some glue on that. So you can see that just with a few simple supplies, if you bought some white cardstock and some DSP, you've got your main elements there to put together. Um, some black ink and an ink block helps. 
or you can start choosing some coloured ink that coordinates with your card. So what I want to do is just put that in there. So I'm pushing that. So that's gone in there. I'm going to push that to the edge of my card like that. And what I want to do is just check that that looks OK. So I'm going to keep that there and I'm going to fold that over like that and keeping it all in place. No pressure, just being a little bit, a little bit nervous now. But that's why we use wet glue so we can wiggle if we need to. But getting it roughly in the right place will help. So I'll just put, oh, it's moved. Let's just put that all over there. And I so only want it roughly in that right place. I'm going to fold that over. I actually didn't have to move that. My goodness. That was a bit of a miracle. But what you could have done, if it was slightly out, just push that up to that. And hold that down and wait for that to set. And there you have it. It's what I'm calling a flip-flop card. Open it up. Nice little pattern. There's your sentiment ready for you to write on. So I hope you like that. Um, something nice and simple. You're sending cards to people. At the moment, we can't see our friends and our family. It's just awful. I can't even see my kids, which is um, horrendous. Thank goodness for FaceTime, eh? Um, so nice cards to send out to people just to tell them that you're thinking about them. Thank you ever so much for joining me. I'll be back again soon with another project, hopefully later on this week. In the meantime, take very good care of yourselves. Stay indoors and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.